I just had a quick question about uh, the vendor um, issue in Action. the contract. So does buy dole still apply to that? Because typically in yes. a vendor agreement, we don't think of IP being exchanged. So if we're considered vendors, do we still retain that IP? Technically, the government, well, it's not that you have to retain it. You have to make sure that the government's rights are honored. The government has the right to its government purpose license rights in all, it's attached, it attaches to the money. Okay, the government has that in every award that is subject to buy dole which begs the question, which awards are not subject to buy dole And there are some, but not any that we're going to talk about today. The standard grant and contracts fully, fully subject to, I mean, procurement awards from the federal government and con um, grants, financial assistance awards from the federal government are subject to buy dole And that, it, buy dole is law. It's not just a policy or uh, you should do this. It's, it's like the Fly America Act in a sense. If you're using federal dollars, you have, to fly, you have to follow that rule. The only exceptions that are allowed are the ones that are built into the law that allow you, you know, if it's ex travel exceeds a certain amount and so forth. You, you, there's nobody you can ask permission from in order to get an exception to buy dole it, because it's the law. I, I'm sorry, but, but to Fly America and buy Dole. It's just, it attaches to the money. Similar to the NIH salary cap, it's attached to the money. 